All right, this is the camping in the Tesla Model S. Um, there's a dog cover in the back, waterproof dog cover for dogs, uh, and a leash for the doggies to be in the back. Uh, left side compartment, there's two air mattresses. Um, this is the primary one, this is the secondary one down here, as well as the air pumps. Uh, right side, we have uh, sheets, a bed sheets for air mattress. There's a low side uh, tire repair kit. Fuse boxes, toolbox, and uh, the Tesla charger up here. In the compartment under the trunk, that's where most of our stuff is. There's a tube of tarp, um, picnic uh, blanket. We have these gray bags are the hammocks. Some camping food that we use in an emergency in a pinch. Shoes um, and other accessories and everything we're packing down here. Kind of bulk items that we don't expect to use yet. In the front seat, we have some utensils in there, chopsticks and utensils, our necessary face mask, uh, power inverter for uh, laptop charging. We have the DC ports in here for charging. Um, lumbar support for comfortability. Uh, mini fridge, very small mini fridge, USB compatible to store any kind of uh, items you wish to refrigerate. It does have a heating mode too, so uh, you can keep things heated if you want to. Um, and Tiffany's, uh, Tiffany's area to be comfortable, I guess, with our blankets. Uh, we also have a solar panel charging unit that we will charge small accessories to not waste the battery too much. Uh, the back seat we have all of our other luggage. So there's a dog crate for here for one of our dogs, one of our four dogs. Um, everything that's on the seat right here is mostly consumables. Um, so these two, these few bags here will disappear as we use them. Um, our primary luggage in the back things that we need quick access to, uh, as well as water. So there's uh, five gallons of water in here. Um, some pillows to be comfortable um, and all of our uh, primary luggage. Uh, the front trunk area, we have mostly dog stuff, things that we need quick access to. So there's two camping chairs, two very small, lightweight camping chairs. Um, all the dog accessories in here, so like dog bowls, dog treats, dog bowl, um, uh, dog leashes and stuff, stuff like that is so kind of in here. Um, dog food, we pack everything in a small container. We figured we would get everything along the way if we needed. Uh, down here is wipes, and just kind of things that we need to go to.
and we had to find a campsite that can accept a charge. <laughs> so we found an electrical outlet here at this campsite. It's called BJ's. So you can see here everyone has RVs. Tesla. John's on his laptop researching things. We are Yogi and Evie sleeping. Let's see, you can see Moo here. Pretty comfy. We usually have some other bags that we put in front. So there's more room, there's Pika. He gets his own space since he doesn't like people touching him. So we're going to White Sands National Park and we're looking for sleds. So yeah, we're looking for the best way. <laughs> here at White Sands. I'm holding all three of them. There's Evie. There's Evie. There's... They're crying because John just left with Moo. And we're about to go studying. <laughs> We just want you to leave. kettle pot um, in our take home ramen kit so what we're doing here is that we're making ramen at our campsite right, so we have some uh, some firewood wood chips um, some starter wood some sort of starter fire
I travel on the road. I'm working. It's a Monday. It's raining. We'll make our fire here. Here's our camping situation. We have a border collie in the middle of us. See, we both can fit. Five, two, five, seven. There's another one. We have another one over here. Sleeping. We have one more that loves his own space. He's a senior dog. So yeah, this is camping lifestyle. With a little mesh on top. Let me get some sun. RV parking. signed by the flight crew, there's his flight log. Mm -hmm. If you look at the tail number and the refueling rod, I'll tell you those two things on the way up. Yeah. And the weight is still attached to the flight. Wow, that's cool. Mm -hmm. If you look out this one, you can see the refueling rod and tail number that they did use. Yeah. 
This is a good ring that shows how to relate to the DVD to the time to see information on the board. Thank you.